Hello guys, it's me again, Michelle Sarto. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome to the love club. So for today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of crafting. So we will basically take some old, ugly or thrifted vases that we can look for or that we have at home. We're gonna upcycle them by using paint. So. I want them to look like terracotta pieces. At first, I thought it wasn't possible to do that, but I've seen some videos, I've seen some vlogs, and DIY tutorials how to do it online, especially Geneva. I love her, and I would just like to recreate and try it on myself too, and share it to you guys how to do it as well. So, one thing I like in this video is we don't have to spend so much. We don't have to splurge a lot on buying on urban outfitters or restoration hardware pieces to decorate our houses. So this time, it's gonna be the cheap ones and make it look like expensive. Yes, and since I don't have enough vases here to use, I am planning to go to the strip store right now and let's see what we can get. Let's go. Hi guys, so I told you that we're gonna go to the strip store but I didn't realize that it was late afternoon na. So when we got there, it's already closed. So my option was we went to Walmart to look for some cheap vases there and also some materials needed for this project. our vases here so this is on different shapes so I actually just chose those small ones because uh, I wasn't sure if this one will work or ganon so this one these are really cheap this is just below two dollars also this one so Also, we're gonna use some paints. We're gonna use some acrylic paints. Actually, yung iba dito luma na. Hinanap ko lang siya sa aking gamit because I tried painting before. We have our paint brushes here. We're gonna use it. Variety siya. Um, I I don't actually know what they really call this one, pero it's like a bra, it's like for painting then. Pero foam siya dito. Maybe I believe this is for textured surfaces. I the dump dump mo lang siya para makover din yung surface. So we have here the baking powder, and we also have here the baking soda. So for today we're gonna try kung ano yung difference nila. Pag ginamit nila na ah, ah, atapon. Ginamit nila na ah, ah, atapon. Sorry. So, itatry natin kung ano yung difference nila when we use it sa project na to or when we mix it to the paint. To do our mixtures, I have here disposable cups and disposable, what do you call it? Bowl. And then, kuchara, spoon. Also, we're gonna use this stirrer. Pero, actually, anything that can stir will do. So, 
my old paint brushes here. So, um, this table, I covered it with garbage bag. But, you know what? You can use the plastic drop sheet. Uh, you can use it to cover your table para hindi siya mamansahan or para mamaya, later on, you'll just, ano, grab it, wrap it, and then tap on. So, first step is, of course, we want our bases to be clean. So, I actually wipe it na. Pero, don't forget, I just want to show you guys, na don't forget to remove those stickers if you have it on, the, on your bases. So, ito, hopefully, mabilis na siya matanggal. So remove. So sometimes when we peel off stickers, may mga residue, but we can use alcohol or ISO to remove it. First, let's do our mixture. Um, I think I'll be using this na lang para mas clear natin din ang mabuti um okay let's try this espresso paint this by the way this is acrylic paint so yeah actually let's just pour whatever amount we want to use so actually we don't need so much kaya yeah i think this one will do so i want to mix it with a little bit of white so let's open it let's mix um, a little bit of color white paint para medyo lighter siya para ma-achieve natin yung terracotta texture color na look yeah yes so this is our stirrer actually this is a real stirrer para dun sa mga paints na nabibili sa hardwares but yeah, I stole one here sa basement so we can use this. So let's mix it. Since it is already mixed, it is time to put some baking soda. It is 1 is to 1 ratio. So I'm going to try to get some Yeah. So here. For the baking soda, as you can see, it's just like yung mga pinong sand hinalo dito. It's still liquidy, but I think it's good to paint na. I think this one is good, so we can start painting it now. That was our paint mixture. It's with espresso acrylic paint and baking soda. So let's try. I like to use this paint brush. So to start painting, we would like to get more paint dito sa brush to cover all the area and to have a thick coat sa ating base. So, 
Wow! Wow! I didn't expect na kakapit siya ng ganito. Oh my God! I'm excited sa kakalubasan. So guys, disclaimer, I am not pro in painting. So I don't know actually if you want to do it on one way or either ways. So as long as you cover the base, it's good. So I suggest to do two coats para thick siya tingnan. So it looks genuine and para kapit na kapit talaga yung ating paint sa ating base. Next, while waiting for it to dry, let's try another paint mixture and color for another base. So we have here, um, shit. I don't know what's the shape of this. You guys, please comment down below. It's like, pang science laboratory. But this time, we will be using. Other color naman. In color, still gray. Okay, so once again, let's add the amount of paint we want to use. So we don't want to waste so much paint kasi sayang naman. So let's just put some enough amount lang. So there you go. So this is our paint mixture. It's time to add baking powder naman. Baking powder. We're gonna use baking powder this time. This is our baking powder. Once again, let's mix it very well. This mixture, we have to apply it quickly habang hindi pa siya fully matigas. So, let's try. Brush, brush. Cover everything. So, disclaimer, this is also my first time doing this, so... Yes, we are doing a little bit of experimenting right here. And I just want to show you guys how to do it yourself at the comfort of our home. So, we don't have any ugly, old, or unused vases na nakatambak lang sa ating storage area. So, no boring vases. Okay, let's cover the whole area. As it dries up, I would like to cover it and paint it pa rin so kumakapal yung coating niya. Let's get it on. So for this piece, so for this piece, 
I would like to use this. We are done with the second coat. So, while waiting for it to dry again, let's separate the paint mixtures. So, para mamaya, when it is fully dried, we can do the final touching. Para if there are some parts na hindi covered, we can still retouch it and then let it dry fully. So, I suggest that Let's dry it overnight. So tomorrow, tignan natin kung ano yung kakalabasan niya. enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something new today and if you like videos like this let me know and I'll be putting everything that we use on the description box below and yeah so don't forget to subscribe like leave some love and bye see you in our next one <laughs>